Fight fans, fight fans, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News. And man, I just got through listening to an interview with Bob Arum. He wants to make the best fights for his fighters. You know, he has uh, Terrence Crawford, of course, and has Vasily Lomachenko. And he wants um, Lomachenko to fight Mikey Garcia. And he wants Terrence Crawford to fight Earl Spence. And he made a comment and he said that he would like to make those fights. Those fights can be easily made, but you have to ask Mr. Cancer. You know, and when he, Cancer, he was uh, referring to Al Heyman. And he says, well, you know, if you guys want to dispute me, go see if you can get an interview with him. Go ask him, you know, um, if if I'm lying, you know, this guy is a cancer for boxing. Cancer creeps into bones. There's no chemotherapy for Al Heyman, you know, and that was a trip how he used that analogy for Al Heyman. I wouldn't necessarily go that far, but I do find it strange that a guy that has such a reputation, you know, such experience in, in, in advising, stays out of the limelight, stays away from cameras, interviews, the public eye. You know what I mean? He's like, because one time you seen Al Heyman like on a video and he was kind of like, and he saw the video looking at him and he was kind of like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was funny, man. You know what I mean? It was like, it was one of those Floyd fights, I think. You know, um, Al Heyman has worked before with Bob Arum. Um, for, uh, of course, you know, Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, but I don't think that had a lot to do with Al Heyman necessarily. I think that was with Steven Espinosa and then someone over on the uh, HBO side, you know what I mean? Um, um, John Molina, you know, fought, uh, what was it? He fought one of, uh, he, he fought, uh, Terrence Crawford, but, of course, John Molina wasn't a high tier guy. So, you know, him with, uh, you know, with Spence and Mikey Garcia, those are the top guys. And he did, you know, Aram also stated that, you know, Aram doesn't like his fighters um, fighting other, you know, other fighters with other, you know, with different promotional companies. Which there is some truth to that on both ends because we could say the same thing about Bob Aram. You know what I mean? You look at, Manny Pacquiao. Look look at the same fights we saw over and over again. We had a man we had a Timothy Bradley two, Timothy Bradley three, Marquez 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 two, three, and four. You know, you had Brandon Rios, you know what I mean? He and he was gonna fight Mike Alvarado on the on the card of of uh Terrence Crawford, which that was they were very disrespectful to Manny. But anyway, you know, all these guys were top ranked guys. So, um, so I think that's a lot of people. I think they are easier. It's it's, it's self-explanatory. It's easier to make fights in your own stable. You know, why would you want to come over here to elaborate and deal with someone else's bullshit, you know, with their protocol and their standards of how things done, you know, and then you do something different over here and you got to put up with that just, to, just for the sake of fans. You know, a lot of these promotional companies don't care about fans unless it sells. Not not to see who's the best fighter. They don't give a damn about that. They just want to. They just want to know what would what fight would sell. What fight would make the most money for the most you know profit. That's it. You know what I mean. Cut and dry. You know, will it sell out? Will it make any money? Will people want to see this fight? You know, and if so, how many people? Where's the market for these people? You know, those are the things that are they'll you know these big promotional companies ask. When it comes to fighting someone, you know, but it's, it's a crazy use. It's, it's crazy that he used that analogy, you know, um, about Al Heyman. I think he's a private guy, you know, um, but if you see one side saying, I want to make the fight, I want to make the fight. And then you see another side that's stalling because if, you know, of course you talk to Errol Spence, now he wants three belts, you know what I'm saying? 
My only problem with Earl Spence is why didn't you say that shit when you was drunk? When you was drunk off your ass making that rant. Why didn't he say, no, I'm not going to deal with uh, Terrence Crawford. And then before Terrence Crawford beat Jeff Horn, he said, well, Terrence Crawford still has Jeff Horn problems. Didn't he not say that? You know what I'm saying? Those are all excuses. So I don't believe that not only does um, Earl Spence not want to fight him, his promotional company, you know, or the network, the people that control the network, which is Al Heyman and May Mayweather Promotion, they don't want him to fight that fight. Not right now. You know, they want to make enough money out of him. They want to build him up first, you know, and then really it it's not really a bad idea to do that because everyone looks at Earl Spence as the number two welterweight. That's what, you know, or um, some people look at Keith Thurman, but where the hell is he? You know, I put it like this. There is no number one heavyweight. I mean, welterweight. There is no number one welterweight. These guys have to prove themselves to be number one. Ter Keith Thurman was the number one guy. He ain't been around, so he's not the number one guy. See, so he has that Floyd mentality. Well, nobody beat me, so how am I not? Dude, you ain't been here. You have not been fighting. You know, and Floyd did that all the time. He just pops up in the sport of boxing talking about, I'm the former. I ain't the former can't. I mean, I, I, I ain't the former, uh, 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 uh. A uh, uh, reigning pound for pound champion. I, I, I'm nobody beat me, so how how am I? You know how, how am I not pound for pound? You know that, that thing with him and Brian Kenny that was classic. You know that debate they had. But Keith Thurman still had. You know he's doing interviews saying he's number one. No, he's not number one. You know number one is the people that's currently fighting. And hell, I mean, is it Earl Spence? Earl is, is you know he says Earl Spence is number two, right? Well. He can claim himself as number two all day long, but he's not in the, no one's number one until they whoop, beat the top guys. And the top guy ain't Keith Thurman. Earl Spence is a self-proclaimed top guy. He's not, though. He ain't fought Porter or Garcia or Crawford to confirm anything. So, no, he's not. He just beat up Chris Algieri. He's a 140-pounder. Uh, Samuel Vargas, who the hell is he? He never fought Khan. Uh, he beat Brooke. You can't beat one guy and claim to be uh, the best. You know what I'm saying? And fight a you know some lower opposition. You know, you beat up Lamont Peterson. I mean, that's that was a small dude coming from 142. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't go. You know, and he was the only one that had the balls enough to take a fight with you. That's why other guys don't want to fight you because there's no 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 reward to it, you know. They don't want that damn IBF belt, you know what I mean? Like, nah, we don't want it that bad, pimp. We good. Well, I'm, I'm not. No, no, not here, you know. So, no, I, I don't think that. Um, as far as the, I don't, I don't think that Earl Spence wants that fight. You know what I mean? I don't think so. You know, or maybe he's saying that because he knows he can't make it. You heard Mayweather. Mayweather said, no, that fight's not even going to happen. We're going to let that fight build. We going to let that fight build. You know what I'm saying? So, no, it, that that's not that's not even the case at all. You know, but do you think Al Heyman is a cancer for boxing guys? Do you really think that, you know, um, he's the only guy that's he's quiet. He's always a quiet factor. You know, his voice, you know, is you see, you know, you hear about what he's saying, but he's never doing any interviews. It's weird. You hear Mayweather kind of talking as a front man like he did in that interview, but he doesn't really take interviews or make interviews. And it's a trip. So I'm thinking like, OK, wow, you know, is Bob is there some sense to what Bob's saying. Like, damn, is this dude really a cancer? You know, um, I don't know, man. It's hard to say. I am, I do know this, you know, I don't think it's Bob Arum that's stopping these fights from being made. It's Mayweather Pro Promotions and Al Heyman. And, for, and, and, you know, and if they can't make the best fights, you're the for us or against us. 
You know what I'm saying? If you, you know, if Bob Arum, because you look at Bob Arum. Bob Arum is what, in his mid to late 80s? He's down there 90 years old. Dude, look. Bob Arum doesn't have time to do the shit he did 20 years ago with the Trinidad and Delahoya and the Manny Pacquiao and the Mayweather. He doesn't have time for that. He's tired of that. He wants to see the best fights from the best fighters while he's still walking around. Because if something happens to old Bob Arum, you know what I'm saying? He's not going to be, he's not going to live forever. You know, I mean, obviously he's lived a good life, you know, ain't stressed him out that bad to make it to the age he is now. But I think Bob Arum just wants to see the best fight the best now. He's past all that stuff. He started, what, in the 60s, right? 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. Dude, he's been, he's been promoting for decades, you know? Five or six decades, this guy's been promoting fights. So, Al Heyman, I don't really know much about him. You know, I know he is, you know, you hear people talk about him all the time. But you don't, you know, you, I don't see any interviews about him. I would like to see one, you know, sit down and hear him talk and hear him, you know, hear what he, what makes him tick. But I'm not really sure. But I think and I believe him, like he's the reason. For what reason he's keeping these fights from being made, I don't know. Because they can be made. I would love to see Mikey Garcia fight uh, Loma. Love to see Terrence Crawford fight um, Spence. But see, Spence, I don't know. Spence is showing me that not only he, he you know, he's doing like some Keith Thurman shit. You know, and who's to say if he gets two belts, he'll fight, he'll fight Terrence Crawford. Because no one knows what Terrence Crawford will do after that. You know? But yeah, anyway. You guys tell me what you think. Is Bob Arum just hating or does he have some legitimate claims that Al Heyman is a cancer for the sport of boxing? You guys tell me, of course, please subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notifications that you're going to get another video from me and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.